Okay, hello again. I'm just going to do a quick um, review on the book War Doctor by David Knott. So, as I always say, a lot of the books that I read, a lot of the books that I have my sort of main interest in are uh, personal development books. So, I'm really into personal development, I'm really into coaching um, and well being. I believe that personal development is really important for uh, improving people's well being and sort of helping people move forward in life. Um, but this book, uh, War Doctor by David Knott, this is kind of a bit of a, a bit of a different type of book. This isn't this isn't personal development, although I think there's a lot of lessons that you can learn from from this book. I think it's 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 really important. Um, it's really quite harrowing, really frightening in places, quite depressing in places as well. Really, not to put too fine a point on it, but it's just so admirable the uh, the work David Knott has done. He's he's gone into war zones all over the world for years. Um, as a surgeon, uh, he kept his job as a surgeon in London, um, and he used to go abroad for as many months as he could afford to, uh, to take time off work and, and go and work abroad. He's worked in Syria, <coughs> uh, he's worked in Africa, he's worked in some really, really dangerous places, he's been in hospitals that have been being bombed, uh, people being brought in with limbs missing, half dead children um you know I, don't, I won't give any kind of spoilers i always try and avoid spoilers but yeah it, it's really harrowing um and there's actually a documentary that just came out fairly recently called for sama which i watched as well um and that's about syria in 2017 and that's really really you know really harrowing it's really visually kind of <sighs> terrible really is, is the only word i can think of it's it's Children being brought brought into hospitals dead, and surgeons trying to trying to work on them and save them. Um, and it, it's difficult to know what to say about it. Really, it's, it's just absolutely horrendous that this sort of stuff goes on really so close to us in this day and age when we're so easily offended by anything in this country. You know, you can't call someone anything without it being almost illegal, and you know absolutely terrible and disastrous yet these people are putting up with being bombed out of their homes and their children being killed and it's absolutely it's mind-blowing really but in this book um war doctor by david knott it's it just tells his story it, it tells about his upbringing in wales by his grandparents then he moved to england with his parents his dad was a surgeon um his dad moved over from, in, from india i think his mum and dad moved over from india i think or it might have been his dad moved over i think maybe his dad moved over and, and married his his mum in from england possibly but anyway or, or wales possibly but anyway it's in the book um but it gives a really nice kind of idea of his upbringing how much his home meant to him um and like i say it's quite depressing in places as well it, he does talk about later on in life when he when he's away all the time he does talk about the fact that he hasn't got many people to live in england for his parents are gone he doesn't have any family so that's a bit depressing, and he's he's just going away, and he's risking his life all the time. But he gets a real buzz out of it. He obviously, you know, he's basically being a hero. He's saving people. He's making a huge difference to people's lives. Um, and then in the end, he he does end up getting married and and having children of his own, which is which is really nice. And he talks about how his own children give him an even stronger sort of um, perspective on on death and, and the children that he's he's own to work on. Or he did have to work on when he was in the war zones. Um, so yeah, it's it's difficult to know what else to say about the book. It's really, really harrowing. It's really, it, you know, really makes you think about. It made me feel actually really quite. Um, it gave me. It, it just gave me a huge sense of perspective, really, and just thought I've got no right really to complain about anything, and and you know, you just need to crack on and just do the best you can in life, basically. And how meaning in life is is really important, which is something I always say anyway. But when you see someone. Sort of being as heroic as as he as he had been, um, you know, putting his life on the line for other people. It really does make you realise that you know there are opportunities out there to do more with your life um, and to to give more to people. Really, I'm not saying everyone needs to go out to a war zone. I, I personally wouldn't go out to a war zone. I've got my own kids and, and family. I, I just wouldn't want to put myself at that much risk. Just being honest, but um, it, it does make me realise if I'm not prepared to do that, then what else should I try and do? Because there, there are so many people out there who need help. And this book just really makes you realise that, brings that message home. So it's not a personal development book, but it, for me it is, because it really gives you that sense of perspective and it really shows you what human beings are capable of doing. And it, it just makes you realise, really, that you don't really have any right to complain about anything. 
um, you know, if things are hard for some people, of course they are. You know, you know, no matter how privileged you are, you can you can be faced with tragedy, of course. But you know, if people like David Knott can do what he does, then you know, everyone else can give a pretty good go at life, really, and, and stop complaining and, and crack on. So, really, really powerful message in this book, I think. So, War Doctor by David Knott, really, really highly recommended.